With so many people working from home during the COVID-19 pandemic, it has been difficult to find a webcam. Even if you do have one or a laptop that has one, you may have noticed that they're not very flattering. Some have poor resolution or sickly colors, while others have a less than flattering image. Here's another option you may not have thought of. If you own a DSLR, mirrorless or compact camera, you can put it into service as a high quality webcam. With Canon, Nikon, and Sony models, you may not even need any extra hardware. In other cases, you'll likely need a video capture device. The results can make you the most presentable person on your Zoom call. However, setup can be challenging and you may suffer issues like out of sync audio. While I'm not here to recommend any particular camera, here's a quick guide on how to set up what you do have. Before we talk about hardware or apps, don't forget that you actually need to mount your camera somewhere. You could use a tripod or a Gorillapod to mount it on or next to your desk, but it's easy to knock over your expensive camera that way. If you want something sturdier, you can clamp or even screw a camera to your desk. You might need a USB Type-C or HDMI cable depending on your hardware. To see which ones we'd recommend, check out my full article in the link below. The reason you can't just plug in a camera like it's a webcam is because most aren't designed to output video that way. However, some models can stream video via the USB port, so let's start with those. Canon has famously made it easy to use its recent DSLRs or mirrorless cameras as webcams thanks to a new app designed for that purpose. Setup is relatively simple. You just need to download and install the beta software, then connect your compatible Canon camera with a USB cable. Turn on your camera, set it to movie mode, and adjust the exposure and focus as you want. Now, when you open Zoom, Hangouts, or any other video conferencing app, you can select EOS Webcam Utility Beta as your new web camera. You can't use your Canon's built-in microphone, so you'll need a headset or external mic. Because of that, your video image will be slightly behind your audio by about half a second. Still, the results were worth it. With my loner Canon EOS R and a 50mm f1.2 portrait lens, I got a cinematic image with awesome bokeh. Nikon doesn't have a webcam utility, but you can go hardware free with a Windows only app called SparkleCam. It supports newer Canon and Nikon cameras, and the company has a detailed list of supported models on its site. Setup is similar. You just install the app, then plug in your camera. There's a free version, but it has an ugly watermark, so you'll need to pay $50 for a Canon or Nikon license. That's not cheap, but it's less than buying a USB capture device, provided you can even find one right now. That brings us to the last most expensive method, using a USB capture card. Those are devices that can take the HDMI signal from your camera and convert it to a streaming USB signal. The benefit is that they work on more cameras and on both Macs and PCs. Plus, they can use the internal or external microphone from your camera, so you'll get better quality and the audio will stay in sync. I'd recommend the $129 Elgato CamLink 4K as it's well supported and relatively cheap. The $100 IO gear also works well, and if you want more bells and whistles, check out Blackmagic Design's $295 ATEM Mini. To set up a USB capture card, you should follow the manufacturer's instructions, but normally you just need to install the included software, plug your camera into the capture card, then plug the capture card into your USB port on your computer. From there, any video conference app should recognize your camera as a webcam, both on Mac and PC computers. The challenge is that just like webcams, USB capture devices are pretty hard to find right now. Using your mirrorless or DSLR camera as a webcam can take a lot of trouble and possible expense. So is it worth it? It was for me because I had the equipment and I enjoy dabbling with gadgets. And I'm sure you do too if you're watching this video. After doing a bit of work, I look better than anybody else in our hangout and I definitely enjoyed seeing the slightly jealous expressions on their faces. If you enjoyed this video, please click on subscribe. And for more on webcams, cameras, and any other subject, check out Engadget.com.